Is democracy really the best form of governance? Or is it a mirage that disappoints more than it delivers? These are the questions that we grapple with as we embark on this journey to unravel the paradox of democracy. At its core, democracy is a system where the people have the power to decide. It promises equality, freedom, and justice. But often, the reality is far from these lofty ideals. Many are left disillusioned and disappointed as the gap between the promise and the practice of democracy widens. This paradox, the gap between high democratic expectations and the subsequent disappointment, is not confined to a single country or a specific region. It's a global phenomenon, a common thread that weaves through the fabric of all democracies. In the coming segments, we'll explore this paradox through case studies from different countries, each with its unique democratic journey. So, let's dive into the heart of democracy and understand why it often disappoints. Take a glance at the United States, a beacon of democracy that often grapples with dissatisfaction. The American dilemma is a curious case. Despite having a democratic system, a continuous stream of disappointment flows among its citizens. It's a melting pot of various issues. One of them is political polarization, where the divide between the left and the right seems to be ever widening. It's like a tug of war, where the rope of democracy is stretched to its limits. Then there's the issue of gridlock in decision making. The wheels of democracy can sometimes turn slowly, Frustratingly so, leading to a feeling of stagnation and frustration among the populace. And let's not forget the influence of money in politics. Democracy should be about the voice of the people, not the size of one's wallet. But the reality is often quite different, with money playing a major role in shaping policy and public opinion. Clearly, even in one of the world's strongest democracies, there are significant challenges. Now, let's turn our attention to India the world's largest democracy, yet not without its own set of problems. India is a unique paradox in the world, a nation where over a billion people participate in the democratic process, yet many remain dissatisfied. This dissatisfaction stems from a variety of issues. Firstly, corruption is deeply ingrained in the political fabric. It is not uncommon for politicians to make grand promises only to fall short when in power. This has led to a widespread disillusionment among the public. Secondly, the practice of vote bank politics undermines the democratic process. Politicians often cater to specific communities or religious groups, leading to a division of the populace along these lines. Finally, religious tensions continue to simmer beneath the surface. These tensions often erupt, causing social unrest and further eroding public faith in the democratic system. As we can see, even in a diverse democracy like India, disappointment is prevalent. Whether it's the United States or India, the common thread seems to be disappointment. But why? The answer lies in the very fabric of democratic systems. Let's take a look at the common issues that seem to be fueling this dissatisfaction. Firstly, we see a wide chasm between promises and delivery. Politicians often campaign on grand visions and promises, but once in power, the reality of governance dims these lofty aspirations. Secondly, the influence of power and money is a concern. In many democracies, wealth often translates to political influence, creating an imbalance that undermines the fundamental promise of equal representation. Lastly, the slow pace of change can be disheartening. Democracies, with their checks and balances, are designed to evolve gradually. But for those seeking immediate solutions to pressing problems, this can be a source of frustration. So, we find that these issues are not unique to any one nation. It seems that the very nature of democracy may be the cause of this disappointment. So, is there a solution to this disappointment or is it an inevitable part of democracy? As we've journeyed together through this exploration, we've seen that the paradox of democracy can lead to disappointment. But perhaps the key is not in seeking a perfect system, but in managing our expectations and understanding the inherent limitations of democracy. Democracy, after all, is a human institution, subject to the whims and follies of those who participate in it.
It's not a magic wand that can instantly resolve all societal issues. It's a process, a journey, and sometimes a struggle. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Active citizen participation and robust institutions can be a potent antidote to disappointment. When citizens are actively involved in the democratic process, when institutions are strong and impartial, we can hope to see democracy functioning at its best. Ultimately, the success or disappointment of democracy might lie in our hands.